Welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday, um, May 23rd, I think, or maybe it's the 24th, 2020. And it's been warm here in southern Ontario for the past week or so. A high of 24 degrees today. So the plants are com coming along well. Um, this Japanese red maple, however, I... I think it has bit the dust because there are no buds at all. It um, it had leaves last year, but for some reason this year, nothing. It's about three years old. Uh, it was a grafted tree from Home Depot, so well, I'll just have to replace it. Here are some uh, stone crop flowers or something that are growing. Here's a uh, staghorn sumac that I lifted from a park. It's uh, blooming or it's leafing out well. So I chose those to put one, one there and one here because they don't grow that tall and they'll look good in the front. dwarf Alberta spruce. Um, I moved it actually from under this rose bush because it wasn't getting that much sun. That's why the left side is very thick and with a lot of growth and the right side is not. And here is the largest Polonia tomentosa, empress tree. It's leaving out quite nicely. And you can see that. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna go taller or anything like that. Um, it should, I guess, I'm not sure, but it looks like these buds are just gonna grow out sideways and then have more branches. I hope it gets taller though. Um, Anyway, we'll see how it goes throughout the summer. But if we look at the base of the tree, you can see this branch. Oh, it has a little bud there actually, right where my finger is. And then this one looks like it's going to grow into a new trunk. This was the, the, the trunk from the first year. It's dead. Then last year I got two, three new trunks. This year it's going to get this, this new one. Um, but it looks to be growing really well. This Polonia tomentosa, which I moved, has come back to life. So that's good. Some dead branches. The dandelions are always prolific growers. Very nice, beautiful. Saw rabbits, uh, a rabbit eating one the other day. This is a Ailanthus altissima, tree of heaven. It's growing well, it just grew here by itself. But this Polonia tomentosa which I moved last year. It was growing vigorously, but by the sound of this, it sounds hollow and dead. This sounds dead completely, and I don't see any new, any new buds coming out from the roots, but hopefully we do see something later on. Get out, you! Get over here! Charles! Somebody... 
How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Nice now, huh? Yeah, it's nice weather now. Yeah, yeah. So that was uh, just a neighbor. Anyway, so uh, here's a black walnut. And uh, this is a nice tree with some nice nuts. The flavor is kind of funny, but anyways, it's growing out like that. And the bud from this one started all the way down here. And then just in the past month, it grew from there all the way up and now it's basically it's basically almost doubled itself in height which is pretty amazing so as I mentioned previously this is still soft but then over the summer it'll harden and become woody and we have some apple trees here that I've planted uh, all leafing out nicely they leafed out pretty early and over here ginkgo biloba one of them is leafing out faster than the others and it's this one it uh, you can see that nice leaf there and the ginkgo biloba, they leaf out, right, or they bud out right from the top, which is pretty cool. And so those are uh, growing well. Over here, this is a black raspberry. So uh, pretty vigorous. Black raspberry again. We should be getting some black raspberries this June. That'll be a delicious treat. Uh, this is a pawpaw pup that I liberated from the mother tree at a local park. A park with hiking trails and such. Uh, you know, it's it was kind of in danger of being perhaps mowed down. So anyways, I, uh, I liberated it. I, I made sure not to harm the mother tree anyway, but it's uh, leafing out quite nicely as you can see. So that's uh, going really well. And then <clears throat> we have this native catalpa, which is, has been a slow leafer, but it has finally leafed out. American elm right here. It planted itself as well. It's uh, leafed out. And then we have I think, well this tree planted itself here. It's uh, It looks like it's poplar or something. I'm not sure. It just grew there so I left it. And um, we also have, these are my papas right here. This large papa pup is also leafing out. And so is this one, which is also a papa pup that I rescued from the mother, from a mother tree in the forest. This one, however, I planted from seed. So the ones I planted from seed last year are leafing out now, which is very cool. And then, oh, I forgot to mention that this is a uh, mulberry, a white mulberry that I planted from seed and it's leafing out, there it goes. And then another Polonia tomentosa 
And then down here is a pine that I planted from seed. You can see that the candles, they call it candles, but the pine needles that are coming out from the top, it's happening. But uh, it's actually really tiny and it's like three or four years old. So, you know, just like anything else, if you don't give it the right conditions, it'll, uh, it won't grow really quickly or it'll get stunted. So you need to make sure to give your plants and anything else in your life the optimal conditions to see them thrive. So back here, this is a uh, black locust. So you remember from my last video last week that it was quite, the buds were just starting to come out and now they are quite um, vigorous and look there's a little ladybug as well. Always a good sign. And this is the biggest mulberry I have. The leaves are quite nice. Um, they're doing well. They, uh, they're going to get larger, of course, over time. There's some black walnut, a lot of black walnut. And there's actually another type of tree which is uh, native around here, and it's, uh, it's called bitter nut. So I found this one near the foundation of the house. So I just moved it here. It kind of, uh, I don't know if it'll survive, but it seems like it's okay for now. And then this, this is mulberry again. I'm not sure if it's coming from the the roots of the mother mulberry or it's if it's a seed growing. But anyways, um, beside that though, these are um, ash, white ash. So last uh, last fall, I found tons and tons of white ash seeds all over the driveway and everywhere else. I collected some of them, but look, they're all growing. Like you can see there, they're all in the compost pile. You know, I didn't plant them. They just fell where they did and over the winter. And I, I did put some leaves in the fall on top of this compost pile, but the white ash seeds, uh, they got buried over the winter, I guess. And then they're growing vigorously so that's pretty cool and last but not least the Korean pine are starting to grow you can see the candles or the new leaves coming out the top some uh, some trees beside it I'm not sure what kind of tree this is but uh, anyways this is the uh, Korean pine. And the other one over there is not doing as well. I'm not sure it's, it's a, the position, maybe it didn't get as much sunlight, but it's there. And there's a bitter nut behind it as well. So that's all for the garden update. I just uh, thought I'd show you guys because this past week, the there was a lot more greenery than uh, last week. So hope you're all doing well during uh, these unprecedented times. And uh, mentally as well as physically. And uh, yeah, make sure to uh, reach out to your friend and family and uh, just for a chat, see how they're doing. Anyway, take care and uh, have a great day.